Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, West Group by Fintechies. Today's topic is getting started with K3S. In this topic, we'll be discussing on how easily we can get started with K3S and start exporting all the features of Kubernetes. What is K3S? K3S is a very lightweight K distribution. It's highly available, RAM optimized, and the binary is less than 40 MB. So you could imagine how easy and easy it is to use Kubernetes on your local without exhausting your RAMs and CPUs on your local. Yeah, so I'd like to mention one of my friends, Sumit Saiwal. He's a, a super DevOps engineer. He mentioned me about K3S. So go, let's, if you want to know more about K3S, go to k3s.io. <coughs> Here you can see the architecture. So uh, they have, there is something called K3S server, K3S agent, and then it has all the components which uh, Kubernetes has. So there is SQLite, there is an API server, there is tunnel proxy, there is scheduler, controller manager, queue proxy, Flannel as a container networking interface. This Flannel is a great guy which actually helps. Like which, like this is the main guy who who, who uh, solves the problem of. A, like apart from one node to another node they easily communicate yeah <clears throat> another thing is that how, how do we install it just just go and just copy this a curl command and then paste it so uh, guys from k3s they claim that it don't take more than 30 seconds to get started with Kubernetes, so yeah, we we like w w before before this, it's it it has become a difficulty for us to install a Kubernetes. Like there are so many processes, there's so many ways to install, but it was a really a hectic task to get Kubernetes on your local. So this is the best way to start using Kubernetes and start ex ex experimenting on Kubernetes features and start preparing for certification exams if anybody is interested in. <coughs> So there are several reasons why you why you can use K3S. Some of them I already told, and there there are many more. Yeah, my internet is a little slower. It's downloading. So instead of pausing it, let's open a new terminal. Let's do net start minus plnt. I mean net start. If you want to see the number of open ports on your local machine or number of ports exposed or listening on your local machine, that's the command to do it. Not only local machine, you can do it on a server. It might it should be Linux. So I am just doing sudo minus s. Yeah, I could have done sudo minus s sudo su minus root or sudo su minus hyphen. There's a single sim simple difference is that just one of them first of them propagates the environment variable in in the uh, in the parent shell. The other one does not. It creates a new shell. So hyphen sudo su hyphen gives you a new set of param environment variables. Yeah, let's go and explore on the K3S binary. There is a GitHub on the GitHub page, Rancher K3S, and go to releases. In releases, you can find the re latest releases with the documentation. Yeah, when you use that curl minus SFL command, it, it will get you the latest stable release. Cool. Yeah, let's pause for some time. And yeah, we are back. So now, as you can see, our K3S is installed and it is installing user local bin as stated so here we can see the binaries and if you want to just uninstall just run the script called k3s hyphen uninstall dot search this k3s <coughs> is the you know, like command line tool and then you can use the and as you can see as you can see kubectl is also the kubectl most of the time people call it yeah now let's check again as you can see, after installing, we have many other processes spawned and they have a single PID called P204. So, 4204, yeah. So these all processes are related to a single to K K3S. Yeah. So, just just to reference it and one more thing i forgot to say is these guys in this in k3s they are using container d directly uh yeah so in for 
I mean, we'll be discussing more about container D in our, in our upcoming module, what container D is and how it works. But here, yeah, after installing, I mean, let's get started with using. So let's use the first command, kubectl get nodes. It it will get you the nodes on your and let's describe it it's very easy keep ct i'll describe node and the node name and if if you want to specify the node name it will start describing all the nodes sorry that's a spelling, a spelling mistake it's keep bctl no it's, it's a cube ctl so yeah description there are so many information in this there are cpu request limit memory request limit number of containers on this there's something called code dns Code DNS is the one who, who 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 helps in service discovery, and yeah, there are other information as well. So you can go through it and then take a feel of Kubernetes. That's it for this module, guys. See you in next module. Stay home, stay safe. Hello, guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel.